First, we want to get back to uh, Aaron as we're joining us from Freeform Fitness. Uh, we are talking about falling back into fitness, especially as we're heading into the fall, and some of the things you really want to focus on. Yeah, so uh, once again, we're just here doing some full body uh, compound exercises. Mm -hmm. Just going to be engaging all the muscles here in the body. Very simple exercise that Alyssa here is doing is a uh, kettlebell swing. If you just notice her technique, as she's getting down to that low squat there, she's engaging her legs. Uh, really good keeping the core tight as well, which is something that, number one thing that actually I hear most of my clients come in is they say they want to tighten up their core as well. Uh, and you can just notice she's also using her shoulders by bringing the weight up there into elevation. Now so she's already kind of getting to this level. Kettlebell is actually quite challenging. It's a very, yeah. Uh, you, you were talking assessment too is the critical part with Freeform in terms of understanding where your clients are, are coming from and where they want to go. Yeah, we have three different uh, styles of, and approaches to, uh, to how we uh, engage with training with our clients. So the first three initial assessments, the first one we would go over uh, a muscle bounce and posture analysis test, which is something that I've noticed a uh, few other gyms within the city don't do and how are you going to be able to engage in fitness if you know your client has like a knee injury a lower back injury you can't just throw them into exercise like that without knowing any of this uh, postural defects mm -hmm. right so we really uh, try and pay attention to that and make sure that we can accommodate any client that comes through the door uh, and, and we try and do our best like that. We welcome everybody that comes in through the door and everybody has a different goal at the end of the day as well. And they're gonna have a different assessment as well. Oh yeah, definitely. So, so know where they're going from. Okay, so we've changed from the kettlebell to the ball. So we changed from the kettlebell here to the ball. This is a little simplified version of the uh, kettlebell swing. It's called a squat uh, flexion. Still engaging a lot of the same muscles here. Uh, using a little bit less weight, this is something that I would say probably a beginner client would be uh, right. engaging. Right, so not to be intimidated by the kettlebell, but yeah. to be able to start with something small and even just getting down to a squat position for people yeah, who haven't done it. It's also a little safer than using a kettlebell <laughs> as well, okay? Absolutely, okay. okay. So we're going to get my brother over here, he's going to demonstrate a uh, what I call a standing mountain climber. Okay, so this is actually going to be engaging all the muscles within his body and it's also a really good one because he's going to be engaging his oblique. Every time he brings the ball there off to his side and he's elevating his knee, He's going to be engaging not only the inferior part of his rectus abdominis, the abs, okay, uh, but also the obliques as well, and then legs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love. I, honestly, I'm watching him. Everything is down to the detail of the second. There's That's no rush. Him, there is so. no rush movement whatsoever <laughs> no, with no, how no. he does anything. Yeah. Okay. What else do we have? Uh, what I can show is I'll show. I'll demonstrate this one here myself. This is a little bit of an advanced exercise, okay. actually. It's called a squat and pivot. It's really good for the legs. It's not going to be engaging the upper body as much. Uh, but what you do is you're going to get down holding the kettlebell here between uh, your legs like so. You can get down to the squat position just so before the kettlebell touches the ground. And then you're going to come up into a pivot at the same time, which is going to force a lot more uh, weight coming off of uh, the opposite leg, okay? So what that looks like, like that, down like that, all right? And you can just choose from side to side exactly what you're going to be doing there. People don't have the bells, uh, they can just do these as well with a dumbbell. You can do it with a ball, you can do it with a pot and pan in your kitchen. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it with anything you want. Of course, there's a number of different locations for Freeform Fitness, all of yeah. them saying that they've got the assessments and great programs as you yeah. are falling back yeah. uh, into your fall fitness.